everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again and this is my review of episode 3 of Marriage at First Sight Season 4. Now, in this episode we have cross-cultural couples. Here our match couples are Simon, 31, who is a business owner. He was matched with um, Eleni, 31, a nurse. And the other couple is Andrew, 30, which is who is a plant operator in Antarctica. And Vanessa, 31, a student studying nutrition. Now, according to the matchmakers, um, it, it's a good match because Simon is compassionate. So they need to find him a woman that can match him on empathy. And he's... We, Empathy, well, he said that uh, he was an epileptic as well, so yeah, like he is someone that needs compassion. And they think that Eleni is a good match for him because she, being a nurse, she would, be, she would have a compassionate side and used to, help, and used to helping others. Um, they like that he uses humour to cover up awkwardness and thinks he can use humour to break through some of the tension or any tension there may, may be with Eleni. And uh, then we're featured two scenes of the couples telling their family and friends. Though interestingly, Eleni's friend Mandy, uh, who she says she's telepathic, she thinks she's telepathic, says that she thinks his name is Simon. She has a good, she has a feeling that his name is Simon. Well, she did get the name right, as you know, and when she met him, though when she met him, she did, didn't like him in the first instance. That is interesting. Eleni is from Lebanon. She says that the cultural difference between Lebanese and Australian culture is huge. And if her husband doesn't like her culture, mm. then it would just be shattering for her. I mean, that's something I can, can understand. I mean, I was not surprised that Eleni said that she liked tall guys with, more, with bigger shoulders. Lebanese culture is conservative, and so the women are usually attracted to the traditional masculine gang type. Now, on the wedding day when they met, uh, Eleni says that he was not the type that she would usually go for. Physical the physical attraction was not there. Um, it was disappointing and because it's important in a romantic relationship that there is physical attraction and she ha does have a problem with his hair. I, all her Eleni's friends did as well. Oh. Simon on the other hand was kind of none the wiser. He thought that there was attraction and then we have scenes later on with the reception was very colourful with traditional Lebanese drumming and dancing. Now a funny incident happened when Eleni went to the bathroom and her wedding ring fell down the toilet. And so they had to try to retrieve it out. Now, we were wondering whether or not this was a, some sort of sign. Now here I can see that Simon would try his best and will be flexible to try to fit in and accommodate Eleni's culture and family. That is evident when he tried very hard to do the Lebanese dancing as you can see him doing. And he Simon seems very genuine and will try and will try and Eleni will try as well to make this work. But I am not sure that they will be successful in bridging their big gap. Um, just both being empathetic, empathetic is not enough. They need to have enough of the important things in common and I don't think they have it, unfortunately. The other couple, Andrew, is the strong silent type. He loves the great outdoors. He's spent eight years in the army and uh, worked in, works in Antarctica as a plant operator. Now the matchmakers see him as an introvert and so they want to find him a woman to compliment and bring him out of his shell. 
So they picked Vanessa. Vanessa comes from a traditional Italian family and wants someone louder and crazier than her and wants someone that responds well to people. Uh, that's, I don't think that's what Andrew is, <laughs> quite the opposite. And again, I was not surprised that she wants a man that can pick her up and protect her and not the other way around. So in her culture, you see, is conservative and then once again, she would prefer the traditional masculine yang type. So, nah, none of that metrosexual stuff I don't see for her. Now, at Andrew and Vanessa's wedding, um, to start off with, it wasn't a good start. Vanessa got stranded with a broken down car. And so they had to wait for a replacement to come. So she came very late to the ceremonies. One thing about them, the bride being traditionally late, but she came very late. So they were all sit, sitting there worried. And when they saw, met each other, there was a strong physical attraction as Andrew did fit the physical type that she wanted, be him being six foot four, and she was five foot two or so, as what she said. And this is especially evident when it was time to kiss, the, the kissing was long and they continued to kiss easily and passionately during the wedding photos, as you can see. Um, ex despite this initial attraction, I am not feeling that good about this relationship. You see, Andrew is an adventureman, so I'm not sure if he's really ready to settle down. And I'm not sure if he realises there is a cultural gap and if he's able to adapt to it. And also he might be too quiet for her. Yeah, that's the one, one thing of you're trying to find someone to draw you out of your shell. But another thing is if your partner can't keep up with you. That is also a factor as well, a consideration. And uh, that's, that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to be alerted to when my next review comes up. So until then, see ya!